Hey, quick video and tip if you're having problems with uh, sticking your prints to the uh, your printer. So I've had this printer for about a year now. And recently I've been having a little weird issue where the prints on this side were having problems sticking to the bed. Um, and I thought it was uh, due to a bad nozzle, so I ended up ordering another nozzle. I've been using some uh, glow in the dark stuff, which I know that kind of wears out the nozzles kind of quick. Um, so, I mean, I've done a couple of things like the atomic pull, try to get it cleaned out. And, you know, the, the weird thing is, you know, the, when I did that, everything came out clean anyways. It had a perfect negative image of the, of the nozzle and the inside. So I didn't quite know what the issue was. Um, but as you can see, I just successfully printed uh, these cable organizers or cable ties uh, for like some HDMI cables that I have and they printed good uh, nicely and successful so while I was doing some troubleshooting uh, first things first is uh, obviously by the the name of this the title of this video you're obviously gonna know what the issue is is I was having issues with the E3D sock and let me show you what it was so I've been this is my third sock that I've gone through in a year and what it was, um, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, let me see. Let me turn on some lights here. There we go. What was happening, at least with this sock, I don't, and I don't recall this happening with the other socks I was using. But with this sock, uh, first of all, I had some issues where a print got unstuck from the bed and a bunch of plastic got inside that one sock which I had to throw away um, and I had to clean this off but the issue with this particular sock even after I cleaned it off made sure everything was cleaned was I, what I think was happening it wasn't going in all the way through to the nozzle and as you can see there's still probably some still some junk on there but what was happening is this little screw right here uh, this screw that I believe holds the thermistor uh, for the for the unit was preventing the sock to go all the way up. At least this this particular sock that I had. Like I said, I've had two others, haven't had an issue. So what I ended up doing was I cut out. Oh, let me see if I can get on the light a little better. There we go. I cut out a little section where that little screw is at. And after I did that, it printed successfully. The way I discovered this was when I was troubleshooting, I took off the sock. I did another uh, calibration print where it prints the line or first layer height print. Um, even that was failing on this side. It was sticking perfectly on this side, but it was failing on this side, which was an interesting issue. It's just unique. What I can think was is that that screw was popping this out a little bit and causing it somehow to, um, well, that screw was causing the, the sock to, you know, not be flushed. And I, what I'm taking it was that part of the sock was actually rubbing on the print and causing it not to stick. So yeah, uh, so like I said, all I did was cut that little hole out, put it back on and tested it and everything worked. So I don't have to replace my nozzle yet. So it's been over, uh, well, it's about 10 months maybe that I've had this printer. So. In two more months or I think actually I think I bought it in November or I got it in November so or not November um, February of last year so nozzle still going it still prints great you know almost a year later it's not a problem mind you that's a $12 part it's a consumable part um, and as you can see everything still works great with this printer I would recommend the uh, the original Perusa i3 MK2 any day and their mk3 version is the features they have it, it makes me want to go buy another one uh, because they didn't do anything to this design anyways they kept all the features this printer had they just added features that would just make it so much better so i don't know maybe in the future i'll uh, end up buying an mk3 um but yeah so now like i said just, a little, just make sure, if you're having problems with sticking to one side for some weird reason, just make sure that it's not. And what 
I guess what I saw was when this was in there, this portion of it, if you look like kind of like in the back over here, you could tell it wasn't con it wasn't connecting with the little lip there. So yeah, that's all I had to do was cut that out. Um, just make sure that part, you know, most of the nozzle, I don't want to say most of the nozzle, but some of the nozzle does stick out. So make sure that's completely flush with the no uh, or the nozzle sticking out of the hole a little bit. And you'll be good to go. Like I said, I've had two other ones. Not a problem. This third one gave me some problem. Uh, like I said, it was just a weird little problem there. Anyway, subscribe. Like the video if you don't, or dislike it if you dislike it. But little quick tip there if you have a E3D sock, silicone sock. I do like them, by the way. And if you're not aware of what these socks do, they basically insulate the, uh, the heating block there. So it gives you better temperature... I don't want up and down, so it basically smooths out the temperature quite a bit to get you better print. Um, and that's what that's for. And as you can see, now everything sticks just fine. So, yep, that's it, guys. You guys have a good one.